Welcome to another video of Robo CNC. Um, bit of a different video, vlog style video. Um, I have some things to talk about and I don't know uh, how to put it in any other video. So uh, I got some mail, got some things to show you, a follow up on the dive tray, uh, a preview of the CNC router I'm building at the moment. Um, well, a vlog video, you all know it, I never do it. Um, but let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to stop directly, uh, let me know and I will stop right now. Uh, well, let's, let's first let's uh, jump into the mail. Let's go down. Ah, the mailman. The mailman come and he opened it all. <laughs> Let's take it into the workshop. So the first thing I got in the mail was this little package from Brad Martin of Cac Tactical Key Change. Um, I think you guys all know him. If you follow my channel uh, and you do not know him, well. I will follow uh, a place a, a link in the description to his uh, YouTube channel and also uh, follow him on Instagram. Uh, he's a small company in a garage trying to make a living uh, on uh, CNC machined product, products, uh, tactical products. Um, I backed him up on Kickstarter on uh, this small project. Which is grade 5 titanium, the Timac. Uh, no, not the Timac, sorry, Ty, uh, TKMQR. It's titanium with magnets inside. The tactical keychain sticker. If you have any uh, stickers that are, uh, well, let's say CNC related or making, making stuff, send them over. Next stop, mail from another well-known guy on uh, YouTube, uh, David Burrell. David Burrell, let's see what's in here. First of all, a letter. I uh, mailed uh, David a sticker of mine and uh, told him uh, I like this uh, YouTube channel, which I will also link down in the description. Um, he also does a lot of CNC related videos, makes a CNC machine himself, uh, converts stuff to CNC, uh, does all kinds of things uh, with, with CNC uh, stuff he finds on eBay, it's a great channel. And also he has a Kickstarter campaign with, an, with a product of his, uh, which I will show later on. He had a letter, uh, thanks for being a subscriber and thanks for uh, the sticker. Always enjoys my videos too. Well, that's great to hear Dave, uh, David. Um, and he has a few stickers for my collection. And well, let's dive into the stickers then. I love CNC. <laughs> great. That's one. Neo7 CNC. Great channel, make sure to follow him. Well, another thing that was in the letter is I've also enclosed a Loop Alien starter kit and a titanium UFA version. I launched the Loop Alien on Kickstarter in 2013 and I've been selling them ever since at loopalien.com. Uh, it's a quick attach, uh, it's used to quickly attach a cord to something while uh, still allowing you to adjust it. Uh, no need to tie a knot. Well, I included a 
description. I will put a link down in the description to his, uh, his uh, YouTube channel, but also to his uh, website uh, with the Loop Aliens. Uh, this is the Loop Alien Titanium Edition. Looks great. It's a new version with uh, the opening on uh, this side to quickly put the, the cord inside. What's this? It's the standard version, I think. So, so well, I've, I've just unpacked it, so I do not yet really know how it works. But you put this around here and now. We can slide this however we want, put it like so, great, well, I have the full starter kit and this is a gift from David so it's really nice, really uh, of course it's great to get a gift and it has a sticker so we're gonna put the loop alien sticker on the cabinet also the loop alien goes on the cabinet yeah David uh, thank you very much for the gift I really appreciate it it's always nice to get a gift so I'm gonna play around with it and uh, tie something or somebody up with it, I think. <laughs> Thanks. The next stop is uh, another gift I got fr uh, through the mail. And it's from this guy. Uh, I don't know if I s say it correctly, Herman. But his name is uh, Herman uh, Plachka. Plachka. Is that correct or not? I don't know. but. Um, He's a woodworker from uh, Germany and I showed this in another video. Again, a package from him. <laughs> now look at this. Also has a leather. It's a Gothic cross. So not for religious reasons. Well, I'm not religious, um, so I really do not uh, really know the difference between between a religious cross and a, a Celtic cross, or a, no, a, a Gothic cross. But uh, if you know, uh, tell me in the comments or Herman, uh, please let me know in the comments what the difference is. Um, I look at the CNC work and for CNC work it's, it's, it's great. Um, if you look closely. You see that the grain goes this way and the grain goes this way. So you have a, a line here. But if you look at the back. It goes like this, so really, really detailed work. V carving, great V carving, great contour, really nice work. Herman, you do uh, great work. And he engraved my logo in it, the Robo CNC. Where do you get that one? <laughs> great, Herman. And even, even the packaging is, is CNC. Foam has a CNC cut inlay uh, cut out of it. And he sent some, uh, some Easter bunnies in some different types of wood for my lady. Uh, some little Easter bunnies for your wife as a decorative material for Easter. Well, Herman, thanks a lot. Great. Uh, keep up the good work. Love your CNC work. Love your woodworking. I will put the link down in the description to his channel also. Okay, next up.
Okay, next up, the dive tray. I get a lot of questions for a follow-up video and uh, for guys who want to see footage of this one. So, let's see. The dive tray follow-up. Well, the dive tray itself, it works great. It uh, handles great. Uh, the weight is great. Um, we had some great footage with it, but there are some uh, things to think about before uh, making one or buying one. As you can see, this is the miniature ball head. And after uh, two, week, uh, two weeks of diving and uh, trying to clean it, this already broke. So it, it does not want to uh, adjust anymore. Um, it's just real Chinese quality, uh, as we say. On the other end, for about uh, five dollars each, you have two, two new ones. Um, so if you need to replace these every, uh, every uh, trip, that's not the real problem also. The lights. A lot of the questions uh, are about the lights itself. Well, these lights are great. Um, they have great light. Now this is the strobe. They have great light with no hot spot. And that's great for video. But um, I had one light that was broken in one week. And the other one uh, for of these two one of them uh, well i think moisture gets into it or something and uh, sometimes it's beginning to strobe uh, I, I would not recommend buying these uh, these uh, chinese lights although they are very cheap and uh, well we all know that dive lights are very expensive so let's uh, dive into some footage So this is some uh, actual footage of the, the dive tray and as you see when I come close to, uh, to my lady you see some flickering and this is what I mentioned with, with the light sometimes it seems it has some moist in it or something and it starts flickering or maybe it's the frame rate that uh, gives a problem but um, overall you can see that um, the image is still, the widescreen image is still uh, greenish and bluish uh, sometimes. So the lights will not help uh, um, in those situations. But if you look now, you can see for the close-ups, you really get, uh, get your colors back. If you look at the drum on the left side, um, you see the shadow, uh, everything in the shadow is green and on the other side you see the purplish and, and all the real colors that uh, are under uh, there. Um, later on in the, uh, the, the dive trip I bought the GoPro uh, red filter and this is the footage with the red filter and the lights on it. And as you can see that looks great or well I think that looks great. But this also gives a new problem because when you get real close to your subject, like here, um, the red filter in combination with the lights uh, will give some extra red in the image. So now this fish should be uh, white, black and yellow and uh, it now seems it has also got some red in it. But well, I now if you've seen it, uh, you, uh, you've seen it yourself and uh, you can decide uh, if you like uh, the lights. So okay, I uh, told you I was going to give a quick preview of the upcoming project, which is the Robo CNC X2 router. I'm building a new uh, CNC router and um, let's have a look. Okay, this is going to be, um, well, the, the, the drawings are not uh, finished yet, but this is a, a quick overview, as I told you, of the, the new router. Um, it's going to have a, a base um, of pro profiling, uh, system profiling. Um, well, a lot of you guys uh, know it as uh, 8020. This is uh, system profile profiling by uh, item, um, which is uh, going to have an, uh, this is, for me this is called the X uh, axis uh, which is going to be uh, one and a half meters um, and as you see it's going to use 
a rack and pinion style. Um, well, a closer, a closer look. Let's have a look at this drivetrain. Um, well, we're going to talk about this later on, but uh, this will give you a brief introduction. It's going to be a rack and pinion style, but it's going to have uh, two pinions uh, to remove any backlash. Or well, that's uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Um, so this unit uh, is going to be a complete video uh, on its own. Well, the complete uh, bridge or the y-axis is going to look like something uh, something looked like uh, this. Uh, some uh, heaving rails. I'm going to use a, a ball screw on uh, uh, on top of it, um, and the two uh, rack and pinion uh, drives on the side. The z-axis um, is going to look uh, something like this, or well, it already is, but uh, I have to uh, upload the video. Um, improved. Uh, on a lot of ways and uh, and we're gonna try something new uh, here by using uh, a floating device so uh, this is uh, going to be a floating z-axis and uh, if you do not uh, know what a floating z-axis is well stay tuned I will uh, I will show you in a upcoming video so this is uh, how it's going to look like or well uh, the start of it of course it uh, still needs a bed and it needs uh, uh, all kinds of stuff but this is the start and uh, hope to have the first video up uh, quite soon <laughs> 